I'm now going to offer some comments and questions, sort of extemporaneously, to the readings concerning Louis Brandeis's Other People's Money and How the Bankers Use It, as well as the modified reading today, which was not from Benjamin Franklin, but was rather from the then governor of Pennsylvania. I'm outside because right now, what is going on identified at this address is unseemly. I would not agree to be inside while such things occur. And yet, it is not the fault of the people who rely upon prudent judgment and who rely upon consistency. It is most unfortunate when that consistency is to cover up for crime and corruption and pervasive slander. When the consistency is that one must cede or allow themselves to be subordinated to that which does not have the intention of honoring their commitment to the people or to any other manner or matter that they have alleged they are committed, then it is everyone else who suffers. Personally, it's a beautiful day. I don't mind being outside with nature. But I do mind the pretense that I am supposed to be inside long enough for somebody else to claim that they have fulfilled an obligation they themselves have not. This is a big problem we have. And it is very, very important that the correlation with today's events corresponded with the specific kind of introduction that Louis Brandeis had regarding the railroad. Here in Texas in May of last year, there was alleged to have been a very substantial change regarding some various regulations to the Texas Railroad Commission. By law, one must be on site in order for certain means to be accomplished. And prior to the day of the event, the alleged governor of Texas lifted whatever sanction there would have been on allowing for a public building to be opened to perform in accordance with the law the important duties it needs to perform so that things can be considered legal and understood to have legal standing and yet the railroad commission did not want to engage that process forthrightly and we are dealing with the consequences now it is one of a number of things that occurred it is one of a number of events that have transpired that have not had transparency and that have not even comported themselves with the laws they claim to espouse in order to give them the alleged authority they have to make the pronouncements such as they do and attempt to command the kind of consideration and compensation they say that they're entitled to. The circulation of paper money is a very, very important matter of consideration today. Many people in the country of the United States specifically, but perhaps elsewhere, have been cut off from a means by which to acquire it for themselves. And I contend, have been cut off from a means by which to acquire it for themselves, to use for themselves, without somebody thinking they're entitled to hold them to some secret obligation. It would have been different if they had said, we are in a time of financial crisis. This financial crisis is exacerbated by a public health outbreak. Or, we are in a time when we are being assailed economically, and we are in a time frame during which the call to war has come, and there is just cause for war. And in a build-up to this war, we are going to need to prepare and arm the people, including through unconventional means, and hence these things need to be done. And in the process of doing such things, we are going to commit ourselves to a course for a particular period of time whereby we forgo certain things immediately for ourselves with an understanding we are offering our service to the collective good of our country and our people. Nobody did such a thing. And instead what we've had is this relief, as if they are providing us with relief without strings attached. Nobody has discussed with us what the strings are, who and to whom we are bound. And if who and to whom we are bound is someone that is identified 
literally, politically, as being an enemy that we would otherwise be going to war with had there been honesty about the circumstances at hand. I'm just letting you know that I have every intention of making sure this posts today. But in order for this to post today, I am going to have to find a different arrangement. I am not going to post these videos online when I already know that the network that I would be using in order to post them online to make them available to the people is attempting to create circumstances whereby illicit finance is going on concurrent to what is an absolutely legitimate intention in order to provide the people with what they would legitimately need to provide for themselves, including if they would need to provide for their self-defense. It's 11.26 a.m., March 23rd, 2021.